welcome to my channel. Is that what the YouTubers say? Like, hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, so let me turn this phone off. Uh, this is my first time doing a YouTube video and I'm doing it because I said on my Instagram that I would and that my channel would enlighten people about my weight loss journey and really just my mental and physical transformation that has happened this year and so I'm here and look I don't have the fancy backgrounds and stuff yet so be patient okay it's gonna we gonna we gonna upgrade but right now we just gonna talk um and this is just me this is my personality I'm super excited to finally do this video if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that a month ago today that I'm recording the video, which is September the 18th, August the 18th, I competed in my first bodybuilding competition. And so I really want this uh, first video to just be a quick intro about myself, my struggles, and then why I decided to do a bodybuilding competition. And a lot of you have asked me different questions on my Instagram, uh, which is Sheree Oates, S-H-E-R-E-E-O-A-T-S, plug. And um, you will see answers to those questions as we continue to grow together in my Instagram community. But for this first video, I just wanted to come and say hello and to really just give you a quick highlight of my journey. Um, my weight loss journey. So in the beginning of January, I well let me say this, December, I got rebaptized actually at New or my church's um, New Year's Eve watch watch night service, and so that was a huge moment in my life and in my walk and in my faith journey and really growing and getting closer to God. And so a lot of that as far as me growing and becoming a better Christian has led me to do the things that I said that I was going to do this year. And I really trusted God that he would provide all of the things that I had been praying for, that I had asked him for, but I also realized that I had to do a lot of self-discovery. So a little bit about me, I am 27. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And I have never been like a super athletic chick. Like that just wasn't me. Um, I always enjoyed somewhat like working out. Like even, you know, when I got out of college, shout out to FAMU <laughs> and uh, moved to Atlanta and started working in my career. I found a gym, had trainers and all of that. And every year I would tell myself, okay, this is the year that we're gonna lose weight. We're gonna get in shape, whatever, homecoming's coming. The summer's coming, I've gotta be summer body ready, all of that. Didn't happen, didn't happen. And again, I was working out, but my eating was terrible. I didn't really realize it at the time, but when I look back at pictures, I realized my, my, my eating, it had to be bad. Um, so my highest weight was 165. So I'm 5'2". And as much as I wanted to say I was a little thick girl, baby was a little chubby, okay? You know, just gotta, gotta call it what it is, right? I was a little chubby. And so um, this 2018 really was about me transforming and again doing the things that I said that I was going to do and it was it really the motivation came from me wanting to just be better I wanted to show up in the world better and one thing that I wrote down that I asked God to give me this year was to make me uncomfortable and he has put me in some uncomfortable situations and the one thing that he placed in my life is to compete in a bodybuilding competition. Now, as I told you, not an athletic chick, never have been, never even thought <laughs> that I would even compete 
in a bodybuilding competition. Like it still blows my mind that I got on stage and did that. And so what really prompted me to compete is really wanting to do something completely out of the normal. Like I really wanted to challenge myself and to see if I could really do it. But I'm not gonna lie, when the idea was presented to me from this new trainer that I had started with, I said no. He was like, yeah, you know, I was just a lifestyle client, right? So he came to me and he's like, yeah, I, I think you should compete in a bodybuilding competition. <laughs> me? I was like, no, the other girls at the gym, like that's what they do. Sheree? Mm -mm. I was like, I can't do that. And in my mind, I'm saying all these negative things, like I'm not meant to be small. It's not my body type. How many times we tell ourselves that, right? You know, those excuses. And I had all of the excuses. I was like, nah, mm -mm. I can never look like that. Can't get that small, da da da. Can't, a muscle, Who? Mm -mm. nope, can't do that either. And, um, but I had to remember what I had asked God for. And I had asked him to make me uncomfortable. And so I trust and believe that he provided this opportunity because it's what I asked for. And so when my trainer approached me, my first response to him was, okay, let me pray about it. And then I asked him, I said, well, do you really think that I can do this? And he said, if I'm asking you to do it, I believe you can do it. And so less than 10 minutes later, I said, all right, let's do it. And so this was uh, in March. So I was training with him. I started with him in February. It was 160 at that time. January, I was 165. So I lost about five pounds prior to starting with him. And in when I, I think it was end of mid-March is when I started to train for competition. He had given me my show date of August the 18th in Atlanta, Georgia. And so I knew what the finish line was. I knew I had this date, I had this goal. And for me, competing meant that I would have to get on a stage and showcase the one thing that I had been so insecure about all my life. And that was my body. And the thought alone was terrifying for me. I was like, oh my God, y'all gonna see these stretch marks and the cellulite and the back rows and my thick thighs and I didn't really know what I had signed up for and so his approach to me was hey if you train and you compete you can just get to your goals that much faster now at the time I still didn't have no idea what I really signed up for um so fast forward Throughout my journey, a lot of it, you know, as far as my meals and if you had purchased my meal plan, I, I sell meal plans now based off of what has been, uh, has caused me to be successful and what I've learned through my journey. And so the meal plans, a lot of it is high protein, very low carbs for me, again, talking about what worked for me, high protein, low carbs. One thing that I had to adjust and to change was the way I saw food. Food could no longer be an emotional support for me. I stopped realize I started to realize that I couldn't just always eat for satisfaction, but I had to eat for fuel. And I had to begin to create a new relationship with how I saw food. Because again, I've had many trainers, a lot of trainers. And the one thing I realized with all the trainers. I was working out, but my body never matched the workouts. And that's because I wasn't following any meal plan. And I'm seeing everybody else lose weight. And I'm like, dang, how is she able to lose weight? But I can't. Because I realized I was full of shit. I was full of shit. I was lazy. And I wasn't doing what I knew that I should, should be doing, which was following a meal plan and st stopping the drinking, the fast food, the fried food, the eating out, all of that. So being on prep, which we call when you're in uh, competition prep for your show, you're really dialed in. And I, you know, my meal plan was four to five meals a day, high protein, you know, with fish or chicken or ground turkey and then vegetables and sweet potatoes, sometimes brown or white rice. Um, 
again all that is kind of outlined in in my meal plan and we can talk about that in another video but one thing that I would tell you if you were on this journey similar to how I was and how I still am you are going to have to make some sacrifices and when I say sacrifices I mean in whatever areas that you know is causing you to not reach your goals and for me I had to sacrifice hanging out. <laughs> I had to sacrifice not being at this party or not going to this birthday dinner or not going on this trip because I knew what the end goal was and I knew I didn't want to get on a stage and look crazy. And was it hard? Absolutely. Like I like hanging out, you know? Um, but I also realized in the beginning, I couldn't trust myself to make good decisions around food because you know we all have those cheap meals which turn into cheap days and most of the time it happens on the weekend and one thing I realized is that me cheating on the weekends canceled out all of the hard work that I had done that week so I could have lost two pounds two or three pounds you know Monday to Friday weigh myself again the following Monday and be the exact same so I'm like uh-uh this, this this these workouts are too hard I'm sweating too much I'm drinking too much water to be not losing any weight and I had to go through that for a while in the beginning to get adjusted to kind of really following like a strict plan and that was an adjustment so if you're watching this and you know that you also struggle with following a meal plan or not having those cheat meals sit out Sit out for a little while. You know, whatever you're doing is going to be there after you reach your goals. But what I will tell you is until you really get serious about wanting to lose weight, it's just not going to happen. Because I had to look myself in the mirror and realize, Cherie, you're lazy. You're full of shit. You say you're going to do something and you don't do it. And that's why you can't get the results that you're asking for. Because you don't stick with anything. And once I had that hard conversation with myself, following the meal plan and doing what I knew I should be doing, changed the game. So although I was working out, so my workouts consisted of in the morning, I would do fasted cardio, which is uh, working out basically on an empty stomach. I would do about 60 minutes in the morning. And then at night in the beginning of my prep, I would then go and train with my coach at night, which we did a lot of strength training and a lot of uh, weightlifting, which really helped shape my body. Please don't just do cardio only. Don't mm -mm. add the weightlifting into your routine. Trust me. Um, and so I, I did that. And again, I just sacrificed a social life. And when I tell you it was so, it, it's been so worth it. You know, six months I've been able to transform not just physically, but mentally. And I show up in the world better because I feel better about myself. And so what I really want you all to realize is if you are struggling with losing weight, set a high goal. You know, maybe it's not, oh, I just need to lose 10 pounds in two weeks because my birthday coming up. Like, sis, mm -mm. nope, that ain't gonna get it because you tried that last year. We tried that last year and it didn't work. You know, set those, those hard goals but try to make it as realistic as possible. Like do, ooh, yeah, sorry. Um, do something that you feel like is going to push you out of your comfort zone, but that can also be attainable. For me, losing 20 pounds in a month was not realistic. Six months, yes. A month, no. And I see now that I talk to people and I, I serve as a fitness coach and as an accountability partner for people, a lot of us have those really high kind of unrealistic goals that we want to lose weight really quickly but let me tell you I've done the teas I've done the the wraps I've done you know the shakes I've done the smart lipo we'll talk about that in another video I've done it all and nothing worked the one thing that worked was consistency effort dedication showing up it sounds simple, but it's not. Losing weight is very hard. I don't know if it's the hardest thing ever, but changing your lifestyle to what you're comfortable with 
is hard. And it's not just about losing the weight. It's about also now how I am. I'm in maintenance mode for right now. Um, and so that that's hard too. And knowing that you can't live the life that you used to live unless you want to look how you've always been looking. And if you're comfortable with that, then cool. Do that. But if you really want to make a change, I suggest you start putting some parameters and some boundaries and some barriers um, on yourself, on your social surrounding. Um, and then on another video, I'll talk about kind of the weight loss and the people that you're surrounded by and how they can help and how they can hurt you. Oof, that's another good one. Y'all gonna want to tune in for that one because I've realized a lot about people when you're on a journey to uh, becoming better. And, um, you know, again, you'll just, when you stick to something, you'll see how it plays out in multiple areas of your life. And fitness for me has opened up so many doors. I never thought that I would even be here talking to you, recording this video for you two about my weight loss story. And the, the gag is, it's only, you know, the year's not up yet. So the fact that my life has changed in six months is still mind blowing uh, to me. But without God, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. But now I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And I am confident in knowing that this is just the beginning for me. So I'm excited to kick off this channel and to get more deep and more real. That's one thing you can expect from me and the people that know me personally, you know, I don't sugarcoat nothing. I'm a straight shooter. I tell you like it is. Um, and that's something that you can expect from this channel is me getting very vulnerable and being very personal about my story. Again, when I did my bodybuilding competition, it was something that I did in secret. People saw that I was working out and, and, and they just thought I was just trying to lose weight and no one had any idea except for close friends and family that all the while I was competing to do a bodybuilding competition. So again, in, in, in videos to come, I will dive deeper into what the mindset was and what it really took for me to compete. And I will just give you a glimpse under the table. It was it was a lot. Losing 35 pounds in six months, yeah, it was a lot. Was it worth it? Yes. Would I do it over again? Yes. Will I compete again? We'll talk about that in, in, in a future video. But for now, I say welcome to my channel. I hope that you subscribe and I hope that you will be back to view my next video. And I will go a little bit deeper into some of the topics that I touched on uh, in this video. And anything that you may want me to go deeper on, you can write in the below comments. I guess that's what y'all say, people you YouTube say, still learning. Um, you could do that or you can follow me on social media. I am at Instagram and I'll try to like drop it below. I think that's what y'all people do, whatever, drop it below, but if not, I'm on Instagram at Sheree Oates, S-H-E-R-E-E-O-A-T-S. -E -E um, you can follow me there and then you can also message me any questions that you may have. I have done some live videos on my channel or on my Instagram page where I've already gotten quite a few questions that people have asked me that I will review on um, this page, I mean this, this uh, YouTube channel. And so it will just be an array of accountability, workouts, again, meal prepping, how to meal prep. I'll do a whole video about how I prep my foods. I cook my own foods every day and how that looks for me and the sacrifices that I make to make sure that I get my foods in and just all the all of that good stuff, love, all the stuff that has been able to transpire in my life uh, due to my change in my mental state and a change in my physical state of being. So I'm excited to finally have this video out to you. I pray and hope that you take something for it, from it and just know that this is just the beginning and we are gonna get more deeper and we gonna get real and we are going to be the best people that we can be. And whatever we say we're gonna do, 
we gonna do it so if you are ready to fight the fat with me subscribe follow the channel and uh stay tuned for much more thank you